last video of the six liter, I saw a comment that said, how long do you usually sit on footage for? Less than a day. Less than a day for this one. The F450 is in, um, or getting in very shortly, and I'm working on, uh, we're finalizing that deal, seeing if it's, you know, 100% feasible, and I'm planning the trip to Montreal to go get it, because the, the F450 is in Montreal, I'm working with a dealership, Olivier, uh, Olivier Ford, and they're on like the south shore of Montreal. So yeah, that's what's ongoing with that. For those of you wondering, that beautiful King Ranch F450 will have it soon. If everything works out the way it should. But for now, this thing needs an oil change. So uh, this video will be featuring Maxwell the dog. He's a good boy. So he's coming with us. So yeah, so we got some Rotel T6 and we're just gonna go check on the trailer and change the oil. Uh, but first, first we gotta get a filter. Yeah, so usually my videos are like full of like complicated editing and and just unnecessary stuff really. It makes it a bit more difficult to get videos out consistently, um, especially, I don't know if it's just because I'm on Windows, but when the program crashes a lot and finding music, like I have a subscription thing where, you know, I have like unlimited music for like $15 a month, Epidemic Sound, but still finding the right music to go along with the videos isn't easy. It's always, it's, it's always, it's always a big thing. And it takes a while to get these videos up, especially the longer ones. So the last one, it's like over 20 minutes long, it's 20 something minutes. That was hard to get up. It was hard to get finished. There was a lot of things. Then I ran into a computer issue where it wasn't rendering properly. And there was a whole, I figured today just to break that habit, cause that's been the last two videos now. Last two videos were from way back in the day. This video is gonna be easy, refreshing, just us talking about stuff. So yeah, so we're on our way to Napa now. We gotta get a filter. I already got a great deal on the uh, Rotella T6. Usually I've been using Total, but uh, the place that I usually get my oil changes done, uh, the boss wasn't there or something, and he said nah, just, just nah, nah for today. I'll go, oh, seatbelt. So it's fine, like we used to do, I'll go change it myself. And today I think I'm actually gonna talk about what kind of oil you should use and why you should use it. Thought of this, we'll be talking about oil today, because it was a question that I had. The oil you use, it changes uh, between the winter and the summer. You gotta use uh, heavier oil in the summer because it warms up and the oil gets thinner. And you gotta use uh, lighter oil in the winter. Now what I do is I use 0W40. And in the manual for these trucks it says you can use that all year, all year round. 0 or 5W40. Uh, the first number, that's uh, the oil's viscosity in the cold and uh, the other number, that's when it's at operating temperature. So the second number is by far the most important. So what I do is I run synthetic. Now, some benefits of synthetic is it lasts longer. So if you can't get your oil changed right away, that synthetic oil is gonna hold up a lot longer than conventional oil. Uh, it's generally more slippery. It just works better, it lubricates better. And I think there's another one, and uh, temperature doesn't affect it so much. So where I'm hauling, I could be in plus five or plus 10 one, uh, one day, like in Eastern Newfoundland, in St. John's, like out by the ocean. And then two or three days later, I'm in minus 50 in Labrador City. That's something to consider uh, what your temperatures are. Uh, for me, just synthetic works a lot better. Now some drawbacks of synthetic is it's a, it's a lot more expensive, especially if you're buying a lot of it. So, unfortunately, um, the, you know, these trucks, they take a lot of oil, 13 liters uh, for an oil change, and uh, it, 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 the price adds up. But I think in the long run, it's worth it. I mean, especially if you're making money with these trucks, how much, how much oil are you using, you know, over 15, 16,000 kilometers, or uh, like 10,000 miles? If, if, you, if you can't make money ch using synthetic oil, then you're probably in the wrong business anyways. But if you're just, you know, your personal truck or whatever, Especially for those people wanting to keep them for a long time and wanting to really take care of those the, those motors and extend the life of your truck, then synthetic is always the way to go, no question. Another thing I wanted to bring up, a lot of people freak out over oil way too much. Just like the coronavirus, the frickin' oil debate is way bigger than it should be. Motors rarely blow up because of oil. If you don't use the perfect oil or something, like very rarely will it do damage to the motor. Um, especially if you're not working the motor very hard. If you're just going around, 
you know, there isn't a whole lot of heat. You're not putting a lot of kilometers on the thing. You're not idling a ton. The oil you use, like what brand and what type and everything, it's not gonna matter a whole lot. It's not gonna extend or deplete the life of your motor. Generally be because your motor's gonna blow up, not because of your oil, but because a valve breaks or a piston breaks or you drop a glow plug or something like that rarely has to do with, you know, what oil you're using. Oh, damn it. All these huge arguments and stuff you see about oil, a lot of them are for nothing because the oil doesn't matter that much. For me, where I'm torturing this truck, tons of idling, like this thing has like 3,500 engine idle hours and only like 5,500 hours. So this truck, you know, then towing heavy all the time. I mean, this truck has worked really hard. So because of that, I do care a lot about what oil I use, especially because I tend to go past uh, the service, like what, what you're supposed to go. But at the same time, what Ford recommends is their own 10W30 uh, conventional oil. It's not synthetic or anything. It's a lot cheaper than what I run. And uh, so because I'm running the more expensive uh, synthetic oil, I tend to let it go a bit further. And to me, that makes it worth it, having that flexibility. Yeah, so my favorite oil, my absolute favorite oil, the one I noticed the best temperatures with, uh, the ones I find like that's the easiest to buy if you want to stick with one brand, um, you know, it's the easiest one. Another reason is they also offer points, so like rewards, uh, little codes under the cap, and I can redeem them for stuff. For me, that's the Rotella T6. That's a very popular oil. It uh, meets all of Ford's requirements. It's synthetic. It's priced pretty good. You can get some pretty good deals on it. Uh, it's easy to get. You can get it at any Canadian tire. Um, for those of you in the States, it's like our O'Reilly's or something, I guess. Canadian tire just has everything. So, yeah, so that's, that's why. It's easy to get. Um, you can get really good deals on it. You can get it in the five gallon uh, buckets. It's just, it's just a good all around oil. I get great temperatures and obviously my trucks haven't blown up yet and that's pretty much all I run. So another one I run is uh, Total, but I haven't really looked into that, really haven't looked into the uh, temperatures, but the tin, the it's a synthetic Total is what it is, uh, 5W40 or 0W40. I'll run whatever, 5 or 0W, the W number I don't pay too much attention to, I just it just doesn't matter that much. Yeah, 0W40 or 5W40 is what I run. And th that's my recommendation, the Rotella T6. It's great oil. Yeah, so I just wanted a good title for today's video pretty much. Um, more about the F450. So I ordered the F450. Um, I think it was officially ordered in February, like early February, or was it January? They ended up putting the truck on a VIP status um, so that it would get done quicker, I guess. It was like a priority thing. And uh, so yeah, so they did that for me, which I really appreciated. Max, come here. Come here for a pet if you want some. Yeah, they put the truck on the VIP status. Um, I had like an insider at the plant, which was pretty cool, so I got to hear everything about the truck while it was being built. Uh, the quality control went excellent, they didn't have to fix anything, it was just perfect right off the bat. Um, yeah, so I was super excited about that. For those of you who don't know, this truck here gave me a few issues, I uh, like a lot of just stupid things, stupid little things that never really let me down, like it did once or twice, okay, it let me down a few times. But uh, this truck here had some issues, so hopefully... That truck there, it won't. Hopefully that truck there, because it passed all the quality control stuff right off the bat, won't have any problems with it. I thought I owed this video to you guys because if it wasn't for you guys, I would not be getting that truck. 
like my F-250, which is a base, bare bones, as bare as you can get it, that truck is enough for me. Even like without automatic headlights, I am happy. I just want my power adjustable seat and uh, really, really that's it. That's all. Getting the King Ranch, you know, I put that poll up. I wanted you, your guys' opinions on it. You guys wanted to see a King Ranch, so that's the one we ordered. So I'm super excited to be getting it and I'll show it to you guys. Um, that whole process, like I said, my videos, they're always taking a super long time uh, to get up. This one will not be. This one, I will get the videos up. If not the same day, then the next day, because that's the whole point of this. And I'm probably going to shoot a lot of B-roll and stuff for that, so it's going to be like a more intensive project. Generally speaking, you'll have like a daily update. Um, then the reveal of the truck might take a little bit more time, but it is going to be epic. It's going to be super cool. Got so much planned for it. Gonna have a load to tow like first day. I'm gonna show up with a loaded trailer and we're gonna see what that thing is made of. Not sure, I don't think there are too many videos with the 2020 F series towing with the new 10 speed, especially not with the 450. So I'm looking forward to just putting that 450 to work like right away. Forever young. Yeah, so I don't see a reason to be hiding financials and stuff from you guys. So I just got off the phone with the guy who does the financing and stuff uh, with Olivier Ford. And he said that uh, he understood 20000 was a lot to put down on a truck. Um, so he's going to do some bargaining. He's giving them a call right now. He's going to give me a call back, apparently. I don't know if I'm going to get a call back right away. So we might hear this video um, confirming whether or not we're getting the truck. So I told him 20000 is no good. It needs to be below fifteen. I'm looking to pay like 12, 13,000 down at the max. Cash is king. If you have money to invest, uh, then you know, you're always gonna be safe. That's what's nice about financing. Say like I find a good deal on a trailer and I wanna put another truck in service, then I can if I have the cash to do that. Financing is always a smart idea, especially these days where money is so cheap to borrow. At the same time, there's a lot going out in the stock market right now, so this might all be, uh, this all might be obsolete information in a few months. Who knows? All right, so for now, I'm gonna do what I can do. I'm gonna get the oil changed on this thing here. So I didn't quite think this one through. Way too low. It's okay, I got an idea. I don't know if this is gonna work at all, but. I think it worked. I think it actually worked. Well, would you look at that? I'll take it. This is fine because even if it falls off that, um, there's lots of room under there for me. It's just gonna hit the bucket and probably make a mess. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you've ever tried that. Um, I'm sure I'm not the first one to do it. It's first time doing it though, that is awesome. Now to get dressed for the occasion. Nine chances out of 10, I'm gonna be covered in oil by the end of this. But I suck at changing oil. That's why I usually pay someone to do it. It's the weekend, I got a lot of kilometers to do. Change some oil. Never sure if it's the 15 or the 17. Um, should we go for the 15? I'm pretty sure it's the 17 though. All right, we're taking both. I'd say I've done like 12, 13 oil changes uh, between this truck and my other 6.7, they're the same thing. And every time, I'm never sure which socket it is. 6, 15, 17, we need the wrench. So yeah, the oil filter wrench so that we can take the filter off. Some of you will understand 
you know you do a lot of kilometers when you keep one of these in your truck all the time. Favorite thing with winter oil changes must be the snowy ground so that you don't get into like a huge mess from like crawling under the truck and everything. Hey, it is a 17. No, it's not. That is super loose. Is it a 15? It is not a 15. Okay, so it's a 16 or something. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I've done 13 of these. And that is why I don't like letting other people change my oil because that was way too tight. And tight and like a quarter turn is enough for a drain plug. That is ridiculous. Oh yeah, there you go. Woo! Never gets old, never gets old. Usually when I'm doing this, there's a ton of wind and it blows the oil everywhere. Of the 13 oil changes I did, if I don't make a mess, then it'll be only the second time I do not waste oil. Crazy though, because that F450, I mean, this is a perfectly good truck, and I'm about to get rid of it, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Well, that's it. All right, so I'm gonna let that drain. While it's draining, let's talk about the 450. So, the 450 is a, it's gonna be a 2020, obviously. Uh, it's gonna be a King Ranch F450, four door, eight foot box. It's uh, the King Ranch Ultimate, which means it's got those nice LED headlights that I've always wanted. Um, I'm not sure what's gonna be on it for chrome or anything. I feel like everything's gonna be color matched, but I'm not 100% sure. It's an FX4, so it's got the skid plate, which I need. It's got the Rancho shocks, I guess. Um, the braking control, descent control thing, which is pretty cool. I like that feature. I uh, use it like twice a year, but it's still nice to have. It's gonna have the twin uh, sunroof like this one has, the complete glass roof. I like that because, well, pretty much just flying the drone. It's, uh, it's nice to be able to look up and know where the drone is uh, when I'm flying it from the truck. So apparently that one's gonna come with the uh, trailer backup assist. I look forward to trying it once and never using that again. Cool technology, I think. It works with the gooseneck trailers. Um, yeah, I mean, for options, it's a pretty fully loaded truck. Uh, there wasn't much that I didn't get. Like, it's got the WeatherTech floor mats. It's gonna have uh, all the mud guards and pretty much what this one's missing. I mean, it's a King Ranch Ultimate. The damn thing has, like, pretty much everything in it. It's the biggest thing, really the only thing I care about, well, there's two things um, when you compare it to this truck. It's gonna have USB-C power delivery. Now, my cameras have... Uh, the capability to be charged by USB-C, um, but it's gotta be power delivery. So it's like a certain wattage. It's a pretty cool thing. Um, so I mean, just one cable, I can charge laptops, cameras, all my 10-speed transmission. The six-speed has been amazing. I absolutely love the six-speed, but the 10-speed is just gonna be so, like, smooth and so shifty. Really looking forward to trying the 10-speed, because the one thing I don't like about this is if, when you're towing really heavy, when you get onto the, the big hills um, and you end up in first gear, it's kind of scary because there's nothing below first gear. So I think that having 10 speeds and uh, you know broadening the... I just think that having more gears is really going to be noticeable and it's really going to help with hauling. So I'm really looking forward to that. Max, what are you... No, no, no. Oh my god. Hi puppy. You knocked over my camera. Are you helping me change oil? Are you cold? He was eating snow, he must be freezing. Hi puppy. Okay. You wanna, ah, see, Max. No, Max, Max, lie down. If you wanna help, lie down. <laughs> so I just clean it off there. I'm just gonna use my hand. Screw that. There you go. Yeah, this filter weighs so much. For like what it is. That was really clean. Usually I make a mess. I'm proud of that. I've done a pretty good job not, of, not making a mess, so let's put the cover on this right away. Every time I leave a puddle of oil that big on the ground that I gotta clean up. Not this time. We Two drops. Two drops is all we wasted. In the comments section, do we have any ideas for 
the F450's first oil change. Anything special? Maybe some fireworks? You know, maybe do it on the ferry that crosses to Newfoundland? Alright, make some people mad? I don't know. What crazy places can we change oil at? Right now we're at a curling club. It's the first time at a curling club changing oil. And guys, sorry if this video isn't terribly entertaining. This video is just because it's been so long since I uploaded. Like I wanted to get something up as soon as possible, something simple. And that's okay, let's move under the hood. Okay, so good news, just got off the phone with Andre. He's the one that takes care of the finances at Olivia Ford. Um, he said that everything is pretty much a go. So everything's approved. So I put two of these in, and then two thirds of another one. So far so good, it hasn't blown up yet. So someone said something about wanting to see the specs, features and stuff of the F450. Let me hop out of the truck. I want to stay in the truck because it's like freaking cold outside. We'll hop out of the truck real quick and we'll talk about that and uh, and then that'll be it for this video. Definitely not editing a 20 minute video tonight. That is not happening. That is not happening. I'm just gonna, eh, too bright. So I'm just gonna read off the window sticker that he sent me. Here we got ambient lighting. That's gonna look super cool on video. Uh, heated rear seats, King Ranch leather, uh, captain's chairs. Hopefully that means it's real leather. I really want real leather, something you know to take care of here. Uh, automatic high beams, can't wait for that. Light bar that's gonna turn on and off automatically. All gonna be wired together. Um, fog lamps, running, running boards. Fog lamps and running boards. I think it says uh, running board lighting. Because I believe I opted out of the power running boards, like the amp steps or whatever, because they don't work. They don't work up here in Labrador. You can see the mess that these are in here. Yeah, the 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 power running boards just don't work up here. Rain sensing wipers. That's gonna be cool. Uh, remote release tailgate. Tailgate's coming off the truck uh, right away, so that doesn't matter. High mounted camera. On this one, the line that guides you in is kind of messed up. It's off to the right a bit. Hopefully on that one it's dead on. And stone gray here, I'm pretty sure the truck is black. So that'll be the accent on the bottom. It'll have the stone gray. I uh, got the gooseneck kit coming with it. Uh, 10 speed automatic transmission. Um, it's got the preferred equipment package 770A. I'm not sure what that is. FX4 off-road as I said, uh, skid plates. It's got the higher GV 14,000 uh, GVWR package. A supplemental uh, heater set. Uh, you don't have to wait for the diesel engine to warm up. It just, it's just like an electric motor that, electric element that heats it up faster. Okay, it's gonna have the trailer uh, tire pressure monitoring system. I don't know what I'm gonna do because I got eight. Probably uh, if I get an enclosed trailer to haul cars and stuff, then that's what I'll use that for. Okay, it's got a uh, tough bed spray in liner. Upfitter switches for $150. That is one hell of a deal. Adaptive cruise control. Looking forward to that. I mean, these trucks really come fully loaded anyways. Even an XLT has a lot of this stuff. I'll be doing a more in-depth video uh, about it when we get it, obviously. I'm gonna go through all the features, find out all its cool quirks. And uh, we're gonna do a Doug DeMiro on it. Really, all the features and stuff, yeah, they're cool. The King Ranch is fun and everything, but we're gonna take a look on it, at it for like five seconds. And then we're gonna be towing with it because that's what really matters. We're gonna be putting that truck to work. We're gonna see, be seeing what she's made of. And on this truck, on the F450, I'm gonna see if I can get five or 600,000 kilometers put on it. I'm just gonna keep that thing on the road going until it just doesn't make any sense anymore. Yeah, we're gonna see how long that transmission lasts and see how long the motor lasts. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. Um, I'm get, definitely gonna be keeping you guys updated on Instagram, so uh, danger underscore industries, all that stuff's gonna be there. Thanks for coming along with me today. Uh, if you made it this far into the video, thanks for sticking around, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, other than that, if you like the video, you guys know what to do, you know the drill. You guys, you guys have a good day.